Okay, now we'll see uh, how uh, ocean surface currents can be uh, seen by a synthetic aperture radar. Uh, demonstration with Sentinel-1. So I will, uh, I will first select uh, the Sentinel-1 data. And uh, we will look uh, in an area where it's supposed to be a very strong current, which is the Agulas current in South Africa. So when we zoom, uh, we can see uh, on the star image uh, a larger uh, roughness in an area where the, uh, the the surface current is actually actually facing the the waves, so it's uh, it's introducing more roughness. So we see the the area with uh, with brighter backscatter on the on the star image, and if we overlay the the Doppler shift, so the Doppler shift is the, the velocity uh, towards the radar. And so we also see that there is a, at the boundary of the current, there is a, 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 a sharp change of the velocity towards the radar. So this Doppler shift is not uh, yet calibrated, but already uh, we see the, the relative uh, uh, motion related to the surface current. So we can also uh, uh, we can also overlay some uh, uh, some model uh, of the ocean current. So this is a Siemens uh, uh, model. So it's an oceanic model that uh, predicts uh, the ocean current, the ocean surface current. So here we see the streamlines of this uh, ocean surface current. So we see clearly that there is an agreement with the location that we see on the star image, but at the same time, the boundary of the current is not as sharp as we see on the, on the observation. Uh, we can also uh, overlay some uh, sea surface temperature. Uh, and uh, removing the, uh, the model output and adding some transparency. So we can we can we can see that the actual limit uh, boundary of the surface current is the at the same location as the, the change in uh, sea surface temperature. So this is clearly a uh, a warm current uh, that is uh, uh, flowing from the the north east to the southwest of the South African coast. And we also have the possibility to overlay drifters trajectories. So the drifters are actually uh, some floating uh, buoy that has a, a drogue 15 meters uh, under the surface and uh, that are drifting with the surface current. So we represent the, the trajectory of this drifter for one month and the color uh, is proportional to the to the velocity, as we can see, the velocity goes from 0 to 2.5 meter per second. And in the area of this strong current, we can reach maybe 2 meter per second. And so we have, we have some consistency between uh, what we see on the SAR image and the actual uh, trajectory of the drifters.